Good morning, everybody. So here at Cricket Street Farm, we'll be checking on our little booty hen, little quail. I wanted to show you the noises they make when they're booty and protecting their chick. She's very unhappy because I'm too close right now. Okay, there's still just one chick. I'm not going to do this for too long because I'm obviously upsetting her. But I thought it would be good for everybody to hear the little noises they make. So you will know when your quill hens are broody. And I did confirm it was one of her eggs that hatched. There's an eggshell in there that's hatched. So I wanted to let everybody to know that it is actually her chick. And I'm going to be quiet now to not upset her any further. water dishes a little closer to her nest too. That's what I normally do when I have a broody hen with chicks. So they don't have to leave their nest too far because they their little chicks will wander when they do that and that upsets them too. So you may notice she has one egg that she's pushed out in front. I was waiting to see if she pulled it back under her. They typically do that if that egg is um, either rotten or they know for a fact that it's no longer any good for one reason or another. I am going to leave it there though because there have been times that I've taken them out and broken it open and um, I was mistaken. So. At this point, because she is in here all by herself, I am going to let her, I'm going to let nature take its course and let her do her thing. So, I'm going to close off this video because I'm obviously upsetting her a lot. And she's doing such a good job at this point, I'm going to leave her alone. So, I will talk to you all later. There's the baby. <laughs> and the baby will get curious and come out and see me too, and I don't want that. So... We'll be checking in on these babies for you guys so you can watch the progress. And like I said, so far, just one chick is hatched 24 hours later. So talk to you later. Bye.